will never come home. Anna Foster, BBC News, Derna. Well, BBC Arabic's Mohammed Taha is here. So just let's focus first on, on the pictures that we just saw there of Derna and the, uh, the state of people trying to, what, leave, stay, rebuild their lives, not rebuild their lives, trying to recover there right now. What's the latest? Um, uh, good morning, Lewis. So the city, as uh, Anna described in her report, uh, uh, became uh, more or less uninhabitable. So the situation of the um, uh, clean water is 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 not good. Uh, there is no clean water. The UN is warning the people of drinking even the the water uh, from under the ground because it might be contaminated with uh, with bodies. And also um, the situation of the city, as you can see in the picture, infrastructure is destroyed, there is no electricity, and there are lots of calls of relocating all the people who survived from this tra tragedy to somewhere else. Uh, the local authority is emphasizing that they can rebuild, but the international uh, um, calls uh, uh, is preferring for for the people to be re relocated somewhere else. Interesting. And what do you make of the calls there from some people that we heard that they should have had more warning, that they should have had more warnings about the dams? Of course, the local authority uh, says that they gave uh, early warning to local people and they didn't take these uh, warnings uh, seriously enough. But the government in Tripoli says that there were uh, lots of allocations to rebuild the dams and maintain the dams and they are questioning where are this ma money uh, went that's why we see that amount of of devastation that happened when the dams uh, were uh, collapsed interesting and just briefly on the aid where are we on getting that into the people that need it the World Health Organization said that they sent 29 tons of aid uh, supplies to Benghazi, the capital of the East. But the problem is how to transform, the, how to transfer these supplies to the devastated uh, city. And uh, if you, if I may say, uh, Lewis, um, uh, the, the 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 disparity between the number of uh, of deaths between. Uh, 10,000, the, 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 the UN estimation, and the 18 or 20,000, the local authority are estimating, lies on the people who were, uh, who, uh, who were in cars and the water took them to the, to, to the sea. So we, we, we understand that there are hundreds of cars of people who try to flee uh, floods that are under the water. That's a haunting image. Uh, Mohammed Taha, thank you. Next. And